118, stating a fact from experience. Below is a list of vocabularies to be used in this lesson. Nouns. 국내산. Means domestic, something from Korea. 가옥. Means house. 선진. Means advancement, development. 선진국. Means advanced developed country. 진료. Means medical treatment. 능동. Means active. 피동. Means passive. 콘센트. Means wall socket outlet. 플러그. Means plug from a wire. 조상. Means ancestor. 여드름. Means pimple acne. 열정. Means passion. 차고. Means garage. 거실. Means living room. 뻥이 걸. Means joke. 선출하다. Means election. Elect. Verbs. 하차하다. Means get off of a train bus. 챙기다. Means to bring, pack up something. 이동하다. Means move travel migrate. 긁다. Means scratch scrape. 매다. Means tie up. 조정하다. Means adjust. 격려하다. Means encourage. 달타. Means worn down run down ran out. Adjectives. 멋지다. Means stylish cool. Adverbs and other words. 가운데. Means in the middle. 또한. Means also as well. 이리저리. Means here and there. 도중. Means in the middle of. Introduction. In this lesson, you will continue to learn about. 더. Specifically, you will learn about. 더라. Which is a common ending to a sentence. But what does it mean? Let's get started. Stating a fact from experience. 더라. In the previous lesson, you learned about. 더. And how it can be placed between two things to have a meaning that expresses experience. You learned how it can attach to a verb adjective, and then how. 가. Gets attached to it to form a compound meaning. In this lesson, you will learn another grammatical principle that is often compounded with. 더. By attaching. 가. To. 더. We end up with. 더라. Which can be placed at the end of a sentence attached to a verb adjective. First of all, what meaning does just the have? The thing is, although the is still used commonly in Korean, just using the is somewhat of an older grammatical principle that isn't used anymore. Its general function is simply to state a fact or current situation. The only time this ever really comes up anymore is when attaching it to anida to form anida. Which you learned about in lesson 95. If we combine the usage of to with the, we end up with a grammatical principle that is the combined meaning of both of these individual principles. That is, when the speaker is expressing some fact that he she witnessed and knows from some sort of first hand experience with that fact. Specifically, this fact must be something that wasn't already known to the person. And it must be something that he she just came to realize or learn because of this first-hand experience. Let's look at a very simple example. From my own experience, I realize that the bag is heavy. Notice the differences nuance between these two. In the first example, one is simply stating a fact that the bag is heavy. In the second example, the speaker is indicating that he she has some direct experience with the heaviness of the bag, and this allows him her to say that the bag is heavy. In both examples the end result is essentially the same, the speaker conveying that the bag is heavy, but the second one has a more complex nuance, because this grammatical principle is only used when one indicates a newly learned fact. From the experience, a sentence like this cannot be used. 내가 학교에 걸어가더라. In this case, nothing was learned, and there is nothing that one can convey based on experience. However, you could say something like this. From my own experience, I realize that walking to school is difficult. In the example above, there is something that the speaker realized for the first time, that walking to school is difficult, and the use of is to signify that this knowledge came as a result of first-hand experience with walking to school. 
As with most intermediate advanced Korean grammatical principles, it is difficult to come up with an English translation that fits all examples of. Tora. My favorite, the one that I feel fits most situations is from my own experience. I realized saw so noticed that. Other examples. 한국말을 배우는 게 힘들더라. From my own experience, I realize that learning Korean is hard. 캐나다 날씨가 너무 춥더라. I realize notice that Canadian weather is very cold. 그 청소년은 여드름이 많더라. I saw notice that the kid has a lot of acne. 이민호는 정말로 멋지더라. 이민호. This was very stylish. From what I experienced, so far I have only used examples of. Attached to adjectives, but it is also common to attach it to verbs or. Ida. For example. 한국 학생들이 공부를 열심히 하더라. From my own experience, I realized notice that Korean students study really hard. 문제는 컴퓨터더라. From my own experience, I realized notice that the problem is the computers. 콘센트가 침대와 책상 가운데에 있더라. From my experience, I remember that the outlet is between the bed and the desk. 이 고기는 국내산이더라. From my experience, I saw that this meat is from Korea. Dot, full stop. I am very happy to be able to explain the subtle difference between conjugating the word before. 더라. In the present tense, for example. 하더라. And conjugating it in the past tense, for example. 했더라. Because the use of. Already expresses one's experience from the past. Some people are confused about what effect the past tense conjugation can have on this grammatical principle. Let me explain by saying, for example, 어제 비가 오더라. You are saying that you personally saw experienced it raining. In other words, you literally saw water fall from the sky. However, by saying, 어제 비가 왔더라. You are saying that you personally saw experience the fact that it did rain, but you didn't actually see it rain. For example, maybe you saw experience that the ground was wet yesterday, but you didn't actually see the rain falling from the sky. In most situations, it is usually more common to use the present tense conjugation before. Tora. However, if the situation allows for it, the past tense is possible. A good translation for the past tense conjugation being used before. Tora. Might be I saw experience that something somebody had. Dot, for example. 어제 비가 오더라. I saw it rain yesterday. 어제 비가 왔더라. I saw that it had rained yesterday. 여자친구가 식당에서 밥을 먹더라. I saw noticed my girlfriend eating at the restaurant. 여자친구가 식당에서 밥을 다 먹었더라. I saw noticed that my girlfriend had eaten all of her food at the restaurant. For example, you get here, and you see that her plate is empty. You didn't personally see her eating, but you saw that she had eaten. 우리 선생님이 영어를 잘 하더라. I noticed saw firsthand that our teacher is good at English. 우리 선생님이 어렸을 때 영어를 잘 했더라. I noticed saw firsthand that our teacher had been good at English. And here, you need to ask yourself. In what situation would this actually be said? It is also quite common to use. Tora. To ask a question, these questions, like. Tonda. Are usually addressed to oneself. However, depending on the situation they can sort of be addressed to a listener. This is similar to how. Kuna. Works, that is, even though the sentence is directed at oneself, the speaker might be deliberately saying it to get a response from a listener. Regardless, the purpose of using Tora. to ask a question can be seen if we look at the following examples. How much did the bread cost? How much did the bread cost? In the first example, the use of Tora. implies that the speaker knew how much the bread cost, but for some reason can't remember. He she knew or somehow experienced the price in the past, but currently can't think of it. For example, if you went to the grocery store and bought some bread in addition to other items, when you got home, you looked in your wallet and realized that you have less money than you thought. You start thinking about how much each item cost, and then you can ask yourself. 빵이 얼마였더라? 
Notice here that if you went to the grocery store with a friend, and came back together, you could say the same sentence. Even though the question is directed to yourself, your friend could also hear the question and answer it. Conversely, the second example implies that the speaker has had no idea how much the bread costs. For example, if you were sitting at home and your mother came home with bread, you had no idea how much it cost. So here you can ask her. Another example. Ah, where did Suji go? Again, I can't remember where she went, but I was with her and I saw her leaving, but I just can't remember where she went. Where did Suji go? You have no idea where she went. Other examples. Ah, when did I go to Thailand? Again, I can't remember. But obviously I have the experience of going to Thailand, but I just can't remember when it was. 내가 언제 졸업했더라? Ah, when did I graduate again? What year? I can't remember, but obviously I have the experience of graduating, but I just can't remember when it was. 내가 어디서 버스를 내렸더라? Ah, where did I get off the bus? Again, I can't remember, but obviously I have the experience getting off the bus. I just can't remember where it was I got off. That's it for this lesson. For more info, please visit howtostudacorean.com.